Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your Google account very secure. Now as the world gets more technologically dependent, there have been a lot more data breaches recently. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you two tips to make your Google account more secure. So you are not one of those unlucky people. So let's get into this video. Roll the intro. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to get easy access to a list of devices that are on your account. It's nice to know what devices are on your account once in a while, and having an easy button for having access to what devices are on your account is really handy if you're suspicious about the activity on your account, or if you want to sign out of old and unused devices. To access the list of devices that are on your account, go to Google and then search up security checkup in the search bar. It should be the first or second result. Here you can check not only the devices that are on your account, but you can also check the security of your passwords, the third-party apps that have access to your account. You can also sign out those devices, and you can even pinpoint their exact location on a handful of devices, such as your phone. And this isn't just some third-party website. This is a feature that is offered by Google themselves, and you can bookmark it for quick access later. So my second tip is to either have a longer password or get two-step verification. Having a longer password and having two-step verification does help a lot with the security of your Google account, but they have their ups and downs. Having a longer password makes it harder to crack the password and sign into your account, but it's harder to remember. Two-step verification is the better choice since you don't have to make your password hard to remember to make your account hard to sign into by verifying through a personal device such as a phone, through email, among other methods. But I think that the downsides of two-step verification is pretty obvious. What if you leave your verification device at home and you have to sign in on another computer that isn't at home? Uh-oh. Alright, so I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye!